In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you made the abbot, St. Benedict, an outstanding master in the school of divine service. Grant, we pray, that putting nothing before love of you, we may hasten with a loving heart in the way of your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Genesis. Judah approached Joseph and said, I beg you, my lord, let your servant speak earnestly to my lord, and do not become angry with your servant, for you are the equal of Pharaoh. My lord asked your servants, have you a father or another brother? So we said to my lord, we have an aged father and a younger brother, the child of his old age. This one's full brother is dead, and since he is the only one by that mother who is left, his father dotes on him. Then you told your servants, Bring him down to me that my eyes may look upon him. Unless your youngest brother comes back with you, you shall not come into my presence again. When we return to your servant, our father, we reported to him the words of my Lord. Later, our father told us to come back and buy some food for the family. So we reminded him, we cannot go down there. Only if our youngest brother is with us can we go. For we may not see the man if our youngest brother is not with us. Then your servant, our father, said to us, As you know, my wife bore me two sons. One of them, however, disappeared, and I had to conclude that he must have been torn to pieces by wild beast, I have not seen him since. If you now take this one away from me too, and some disaster befalls him, you will send my right head down to the netherworld in grief. Joseph could no longer control himself in the presence of all his attendants, so he cried out, Have everyone withdraw from me. Thus no one else was about when he made himself known to his brothers. But his sobs were so loud that the Egyptians heard him, and so the news reached Pharaoh's palace. I am Joseph, he said to his brothers. Is my father still in good health? But his brothers could give, no, give him no answer, so dumbfounded were they at him. Come closer to me, he told his brothers. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you once sold into Egypt. But now do not be distressed, and do not reproach yourselves for having sold me here. It was really for the sake of saving lives that God sent me here ahead of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial song. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. When the Lord called down a famine on the land and ruined the crop that sustained them, he sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. Remember, Remember the marvels the, the Lord has done. <clears throat> they had weighed him down with fetters, and he was bound with chains, till his prediction came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember, Remember the marvels the Lord has done. done. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord over, of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Remember the Lord, the Lord has done. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Benedictus Nursia, St. Benedict, a 5th century monk, would become the father of Western mon uh, monasticism, founding 12 monastic communities around Subiaco, Italy, just east of Rome. Each of these communities consisted of 12 monks and a superior, or abbot. When asked to become the abbot by a group of monks, Benedict warned them that he would be too strict, but they insisted. When his warning proved true, these same men put poison in his drink. As he prayed a blessing over the cup, the cup shattered. Another story tells of a poor man coming to the monastery begging for oil. Although Benedict commanded that the oil be given, the man responsible refused to give it because there was only a small amount of oil left. Angry at this distrust in God, Benedict began to pray. As he prayed, a bubbling sound was heard from inside the oil jar. The men standing close by watched in amazement as oil filled the vessel so full that it pushed the lid open and overflowed onto the floor. It should be noted at that time in church history because of the remoteness of the monasteries, many of the 5th century monks were not ordained, and the monasteries were under the guidance of a superior and not that of a bishop. St. Benedict and his monks were lay men who had chosen the solitude of monastic life. This lack of leadership led Benedict to prepare what would come to be known as the Rule of St. Benedict. The rule is a list of 73 statements that govern each of the monasteries. The rule lays out the clothes to be worn, the quantity of food and drink allowed, the sleeping arrangements, and the spiritual and prayer lives to be led by each of the men at the monastery. So I wanted to take a quick brief look at the chapter 7 of the rule which provides the 12 degrees of humility. Please remember that the rule is written to govern monasticism. It can, however, in many instances, apply to us here today. Chapter seven demands the fear of God. That is to remain in awe of God and his creation. It calls a man to love not his own will, nor be pleased to fulfill his own desires. And it speaks to obedience to a superior. The rule advises acceptance of hard and distasteful things that are commanded with patience and even temper. 
The fifth degree of humility calls for confession of wrongdoing or evil thoughts. Under the rule of St. Benedict, the sixth degree of humility is reached when a man is content with bad things that come. And the seventh degree of humility is achieved when a man realizes his lowliness. We are called to follow the law and the examples of the elders. We must learn to hold our tongues, to not be easily moved and quick to give in to laughter, and to speak gently with few and sensible words, not being loud of voice. And finally, St. Benedict advised all of his disciples, whenever you begin any good work, you should first of all make a pleasing appeal, a pressing appeal to Christ our Lord to bring it to perfection. Through the intercession of St. Benedict, may Almighty God bless you this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come me together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy, with the people entrusted to their charge, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For those who travel by sea, land, or air, for captives and all held in prison, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered in this sacred place by faith and devotion and by love and reverence for God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all those in our community, both here present and those watching on video, who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. <coughs> For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray to the Lord. Lord pray. And for Victor and Marianne Whelan, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord pray. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise and honor. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for all that I have. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. With your goodness, we have to receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work with human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work with human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Of the praise and glory of his name, by our the law of the Son of the Church. Look kindly, Lord, upon these holy offerings which we make in honor of St. Benedict, and grant that by following his example and seeking you, we may merit the gifts of unity in your service and of peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence. 
by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints who praise you, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the bonds of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by them down in your spirit of bonds and life as you call, that they may become for us the body blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Thank you. 
Receive this pledge of eternal life, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of Saint Benedict, we may faithfully serve your designs and love one another with fervent charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Praise be to God. Pray to St. Michael for our family. Holy and mindful be our angels, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with you when we humbly pray. And to you, our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, for us in the hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits, who go on to the glory of seeing your own souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed, Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, who now and the true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sign of the Lord. Blessed be the Holy Spirit in the soul. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be your holy name. 